Hi, let's work through practice number one. A hiker begins a trip by first walking 25 kilometers due southeast from her base camp. On a second day, she walks 40 degrees or 40 kilometers in a direction 60 degrees north of east. On a third day, she travels 30 kilometers due south, at which point she discovers the forest ranger's tower. Determine the displacement from the camp to the tower. Now we have a little bit of a problem if you're familiar with directions. If you're not, then it may not even be a problem for you. But a real compass starts as north being zero degrees um, and then proceeds clockwise so that east is 90 degrees. But a unit circle generally starts with east being zero degrees. That's at the position x equals one and y equals zero and then proceeds counterclockwise. So what most of the physics problems are going to do to solve this uh, discrepancy is they're going to point you in a number of degrees north of east or south of west or that sort of thing. And as long as we keep track of our positive and negatives for our um, uh, x and y components in relation to those, uh, those compass directions, we can usually work it out pretty simply. So let's take a look. We're starting with our base camp here, right here. and at first, on day one, she walks essentially 45 degrees because southeast is right in between uh, south and east, so 45 degrees um, down from, from, uh, from the easterly direction. On a compass, uh, of course, that would be 135 degrees, uh, but on a unit circle, that would be uh, 315 degrees. So anyway, it's um, uh, quite a bit different, but that's okay. We, we're just going to use the 45 degrees in order to solve this problem. Day two, she goes 60 degrees uh, north of east. So we're going to look at as if this was the x uh, and y axis right here. Uh, this angle between this and due east, we'll call that 60 degrees. And then on day three, she walks uh, due south for 30 kilometers. That's where she finds the ranger station or ranger uh, tower. And we want to find this resultant, the red line. So day one, we can get the components. The x component is 25 kilometers times the cosine of minus 45 degrees. So I, I counted this uh, from, the, from this east line uh, down to here as 45 degrees south of, of east. So I said minus 45 degrees. And that gives us 17 kilometers in the x direction and you can just look at your x and y and you can say is this positive in the x direction yes it is and we got a positive number the y component is 25 kilometers um, times the sine of minus 45 degrees and that gives us negative 17.68 kilometers and is our y component uh, if this is our y axis is it negative yes it is so we're at negative we're at positive 17.68 uh, in the X and negative 17.68 in the Y. So we do a reality check, make sure we're, we're doing our, our sines and cosines and angles right. Day two, we have 40 kilometers at 60 degrees north of east. So let's call this line here. Um, this is the angle that we're looking at that's 60 degrees. And uh, we get two positive numbers. The cosine of 60 times 40 kilometers is 20. So we go 20 kilometers more in the X direction and the sine of 60, we go up 34.64 kilometers. And then on day three, uh, day three is trivial uh, because how much do we change in the x direction? Well, not at all. We're going due south, so we're not going east or west. So it's zero in the x direction and minus 30 in the y. We can just add all these up. So we add all the x components up, 17.68 plus 20 plus zero, and we get 37.68, and that's positive. So we have moved positive in the x direction. In the y direction, we have a minus negative 17.68, and then we go up 34.64, and then we go down 30, and we end up with minus 13.04, and that looks about right too. If we look at our drawing, uh, it looks like we've gone a whole lot to the east, and uh, considerably less to the south. So Pythagoras can tell us uh, how long this vector line is because we know that, uh, that a squared, the x direction, plus b squared, the y direction, is going to give us c squared. Um, so we do that. Notice that when we square this negative number, it's going to be a positive, and that's okay because we only have positive direction or positive uh, distance. We can't have a negative distance. Um, 
and we have uh, we take the square root and we get 39.87 for our length of that line and if we look we know that this line is about 40 kilometers or it should be 40 kilometers and we look at this and it's very close so uh, that's another kind of reality check the length of the lines uh, the bearing uh, we know that we want to know the bearing of this that's the hypotenuse of a triangle if we have this as our x and this is our y this is our hypotenuse and we don't know what uh, we know what its length is uh, but we really want this angle and if we wanted to, if we had gotten it first we would have looked at the opposite from this angle is our y displacement in the negative direction and the adjacent angle adjacent to the angle is our x so the uh, tangent of, of these, um, or the tangent of the angle is the ratio of these. So the inverse tangent, uh, tan negative 1 on your calculator, or uh, arc tan or um, inv tan, uh, is going to be y over x, uh, which is our negative 13.04 divided by our 37.68. And we end up with 19.09 degrees south of east for our direction.